Hi, boys and girls. Miss Longoria. Um, hope everyone's having a great day so far. Today, the story we're going to read is There Was an Old Astronaut Who Swallowed the Moon. And remember, this is a, one of the old lady books. And what did I say about the old lady books? Why do I like the old lady books? Does anyone remember? If you said it's because we can sing the words, you're right. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and sing the words. There was an old astronaut who swallowed the moon. <clears throat> okay, here we go. There was an old astronaut who swallowed the moon. I don't know why she swallowed the moon. It happened at noon. Is the moon really out during the day? Of course, the moon never goes away. There was an old astronaut who swallowed a star. It was bizarre to swallow a star. She swallowed the star to shoot for the moon. I don't know why she swallowed the moon. It happened at noon. How does the moon stay in the sky? Gravity's force keeps it up high. There was an old astronaut who swallowed a planet. It tastes like granite when she swallowed that planet. She swallowed the planet to orbit the star. She swallowed the star to shoot for the moon. I don't know why she swallowed the moon. It happened at noon. The star closest to the, to the Earth is the sun. Our solar system only has one. There was an old astronaut who swallowed a comet. There's a comet right here. A small piece right here is a comet. Just like an omelet, she swallowed that comet. She swallowed the comet to light up the planet. She swallowed the planet to orbit the star. She swallowed the star to shoot for the moon. I don't know why she swallowed the moon. It happened at noon. Noon is 12 o'clock p.m., guys. That's 12 o'clock. Why does the comet leave a bright trail? Heat from the sun creates a tail. This is the tail of the comet. There was an old astronaut who swallowed a meteoroid. She really enjoyed that meteoroid. She swallowed the meteor to fly with the comet. She swallowed the comet to light up the planet. She swallowed the planet to orbit the star. She swallowed the star to shoot for the moon. I don't know why she swallowed the moon. It happened at noon. That meteoroid made a loud sound. It's a meteorite when it hits the ground. There was an old astronaut who swallowed a rocket. It was next on the docket, a powerful rocket. She swallowed the rocket to catch the meteorite. She swallowed the meteorite to fly with the comet. She swallowed the comet to light up the planet. She swallowed the planet to orbit the star. 
She swallowed the star to shoot for the moon. I don't know why she swallowed the moon. It happened at noon. How long is a trip to outer space? Depends on the rocket's size, power, and pace. Space and pace. What do you notice about those two words? Space and pace. Do they sound the same? Hmm. There was an old astronaut who swaddled a satellite. It went just right, that bright satellite. Bright and satellite. What about those two words? There was an old astronaut who swallowed, who wanted to fly and spent all her time looking up high. At the planetarium's brightly lit sky. Look at all the kids looking up. There is so much to learn about the stars, moon, and sun. So turn the page for more reading fun. What do you think will be on the next page? And here's an informational page. So in this book, we talked about the moon. We talked about a, remember what this one is? A star. We talked about, what are these? Do you guys remember what these are? Planets. We talked about a, a comet. This one here. A meteoroid, it's a big piece of rock. Talked about, I know you know this one, a rocket. We talked about a, right here, a satellite. And the end. Lots of information in this book. Um, remember the title is, There Was an Old Astronaut Who Swallowed the Moon. So talk to your parents about your favorite part of this book. What was your favorite part that the old lady swallowed? The old astronaut, actually. And um, I hope everyone um, has had a very good day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.